beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Trisha Penn Jackson. I'm a licensed real estate agent in New York City and I also write a lifestyle and fashion blog called feastandfashion.com. Here on my channel, we talk about fashion, we talk about lifestyle, we talk about travel and we sprinkle in a little bit of real estate. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you know when, um, so you can become a member of this tribe. Please hit that notification button so you know when these videos drop and please give this video a huge thumbs up to tell YouTube that you liked it. Merry Christmas everyone. Okay, well, not yet, but happy Vlogmas. Uh, this is and should be when this drops on December 1st, my first Vlogmas uh, video of the season. I intend to try to do Vlogmas straight out. I have planned my videos. I have shot uh, quite a few of the videos, so I should be able to keep up with it this year. Vlogmas is very special. I love, um, Vlogmas is actually one of the first times that I actually hopped on YouTube and was like doing it consistency, consistently. And I love just sharing that stuff for this special occasion today. I wore my fancy party top. Don't get used to this. This is this is this is a, spe a special one because this is the first. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just um, do some great videos, some great content, and I actually want this to be useful for you guys. So not just like you know how people do like just vlogs. Like I'm gonna do some vlogs because you know a lot of people ask me about my life and you know, are interested in like things when I do in and around the city. But I also want to give you guys like some actual like things like gift guides and outfit ideas for holiday parties and you know all kinds of things. So I'm going to be doing that and I really have one ask before I jump into today's video and is that you share these videos with your friends. If you have one person that you think would like my videos, please share it with them. Um, what? One of my goals for Vlogmas is actually to get more eyes on my channel. I'm trying to grow guys here on YouTube. And my loyal day ones that always are watching and in the comments, I, I so appreciate you guys. And I would just love for you guys to share it with the um, your family and your friends who would also appreciate my videos. All right. We're going to jump into today's video, which I feel like is you know, it's it's just my thing. I am a shoe gal. And today's video is actually about boots. All things boots, 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 boots that you should have on your list, boots that I have in my closet, and then just some wish list items that I have for myself. Um, I'm sharing all the boots today. So I'm hopping right in. I actually have some some little notes prepared. Usually I do this on the iPad, but my iPad was good. So I said, let me just do it old school and write my notes on a piece of paper. And, the, and here we go. <laughs> All right. The first uh, type of boot that I'm going to talk about is actually the thigh high boot. And I mentioned this in my fall winter 2020 trends video that thigh highs were actually going to be very, very popular this season and they are I knew it I, I already knew that they were going to be and I told you guys that I had a few of the items on my wish list that I wanted to get um for fall and I did I actually did so the first thigh high I'm actually going to talk about are these Coperni boots you should have seen these already I think I featured this featured these on the blog uh, I'm on the on the channel already taught when I was talking about uh, New York Fashion Week because I did wear these during New York Fashion Week. These are by the brand Coperni. Uh, they're a uh, Paris, France brand, Parisian, French brand, and I love them so much. The only downside I would say to these boots are that they're not real leather, which in hindsight, before I even like love, like thought that I love them, I didn't look at like the, what the material was made out of. These are like a vegan leather and I'm like for the price point like that's kind of a lot but I have worn them and I keep wearing them and I love them so cost per wear and actually they wear very well because like I said I've worn them a ton and they look honestly brand new I, I keep the little sock in there you know they're getting that little crease on the toe which they do and the bottom the soles are actually leather so they are wearing like a leather sole I might I actually have to take these to my cobula well, my cobbler, <laughs> my cobbler to, um, to, uh, do the little thing on the heels so they don't lean to, to a side. 
um, to cap my heels. That's what they're called. That's what it's called. And um, I may get like a Scotch guard. I mean, a like a little rubber piece put on the bottom just so they're not as. I'm not really, I haven't really found that they were slippery, but um, anyway, these are my thigh high boots, and I do want to add at least one more pair before the end of the season. Um, so this is where my little list comes in of some of the ones that I've been looking at and shopping. And the first one on my list actually is from Paris, Texas. Now, if you don't know Paris, Texas, they do boots and they do boots every season and the boot and the girls want the boots and wear the boots. Apparently they're very great quality. I do not have a pair of their boots as yet, but I do have my eye on some of them. Um, they come in a, vari a variety of colors and sizes and everything. Um, they m they are notorious for their knee highs, but there is this pair of thigh high boots that I think would just be so darling. They're a nice, simple boot, um, and I think it's a really great, it would be a really great addition to anybody's wardrobe. Um, the second on this list is actually Stuart Weitzman. Stuart Weitzman is another notorious boot <laughs> person. And if you have not seen the 50-50 boots, like where have you been? They've been around for so long and they're like the epitome of a thigh high boot. I love that rather than having a very high heel, they come in a lower heel. They also come in different varieties of uh, fabric. So there's a, a one that has a leather front and a kind of suede back. And then there's one that's are, that are all suede. I don't believe I've seen an all leather one in the short side. I have, I feel like I have seen it in like a, a high heel version, but I digress. Uh, Stuart Weitzman is that girl. And, they, and one thing I love about Stuart Weitzman, one, they are always going stale. So if you cannot get them now at, at full price, please wait to the end of the, end of the season, which I will be talking about sales a little later in the month. Um, because the, after Christmas sales, you think Black Friday is something? After Christmas sales and New Year's sales are so much better. Like, uh, like end of season sales are so much better. So you know, if you're seeing, if you're looking at something for yourself or even for a, a, a late Christmas gift for your loved ones, like let's wait towards the end of the month and I will be putting you on to some of my favorite sales, both designer and contemporary high street brands. Um, but anyway, Stuart Weitzman, they always go on sale, really great prices. So, um, like there definitely should be a thigh high in there for you. And one thing I also like too is that because I'm a, I'm a member of the thick thigh community, I have thick thighs. I think that Stuart Weitzman's uh, boots are really great because they do have like a stretchy back part to them, which a lot of boots, a lot of thigh high boots, even some of the ones on my list don't necessarily have that um, going for them. And it makes it kind of hard and limiting, even at a size 10. I don't know what they think that you, the circumference of a size 10 foot, like if you have a big foot, nine times out of 10, your thigh is going to be larger than someone who has a size six foot. Why is the circumference of the thigh like this big? Like who's like, I mean, there are people out there and if your thigh is that small, more power to you. That's great. You can actually, if the thigh, if the thigh of a shoe is, is too small, it's too big for you to so actually get that tailor to make it smaller. But if it's too small for you, it's actually a little harder. There is a trick though that, um, 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 my cobbler taught or not, he didn't teach me, but he told me about is that if you do want to make a thigh high that especially leather thigh highs, like something something like this, this actually already has stretch and it stretches over my thigh. It's a little, got, it, it looks, it's a little tight on my thigh, but I actually like it that way because this, these boots stay up all, all day, all night. Um, but if you have a boot that let's say it's leather and it does not fit your thigh, the cobbler is able, let me show you on this one. I was just, this is actually a shoe I want to show you for the knee high section. But there is a seam in the back of um, of most boots. It might be on the side. Some boots have them on the side. But they can actually open that up and put in um, an elastic or an expander or even more leather fabric there to make it accommodating for your thigh. So that's a little trick for me to use. So enough with the, <laughs> the thigh talk. We're going to talk about um, the next shoe on my list. And it's these pair of the Attico Chiopi thigh highs. Now, you should have seen me post a version of these shoes for my fall wish list. I actually wanted the 
um, the calf version of these boots. And then after that video, I realized that they made them in the thigh high version. And honestly, I love them. I love the thigh high version. Now this boot, for me, I don't think it would come up like, it would come up literally just above my knee, which I think would be perfect um, for this kind of boot. And the heel is just what's, it, it's just what sells me. So it comes in this beautiful black color, but I also found one went in a sock boot kind of style in white, which I think is just such an unexpected shoe, such an unexpected boot, and actually makes it very, very unique. And you know, we love unique stuff around here. Yes, we love our staples, which I, I talked about a, a little earlier, but we want something fun, something flashy, something out of the box. And that's these white um, sock boots. So I'm in the, I'm on the hunt for either something like um, these boots when uh, in my size or something similar that is a little bit more price friendly. So anything that I'm talking about, of course, you guys know, I'm going to link it in the description um, so that you guys can shop. And of course, I appreciate if when you, you, you guys lose my links, it is a way that I get a small commission uh, when you shop and I truly appreciate it. All right, last but not least on my list is this cute little boot that it's just, it seems like a, a normal standard suede boot, but it's, it's, so it's actually by this, um, this brand called Side. And the suede, it's a, it's a normal suede boot, which I love. I also don't have a suede boot in my collection, and I think it would be a really great addition to my collection. But th something that I love about this particular thigh high boot is that it has a square toe. Like, I'm just so excited. This is a little, I'm going to give you guys a little hint until, to um, the 2024 trends. Square toed shoes are coming back in style, and they're coming back in a with a vengeance. So you heard it here first get on your square toes. I actually really like a square toe shoe because I feel like it's a little bit more accommodating or for your natural toe box. Like even though I have skinny feet, some of these shoes, especially because I love a pointy toe, it's nothing like a sexy pointy toe. But pointy toes really make your, your feet like isolated and your, your toes not split out, um, not spread out. But a square toe gives you that space that you need in your toe and your and your toes, and they tend to be a little bit more comfortable. And um, these have that square toe, and I love them so much. So, if um, again thigh highs are something that you're looking for right now, and you should be because even though we're waiting for end of season sales, there are tons of great sales. Like Essence already started their sale, girl, and it's really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna share some of the some of my picks. Um, in another video, but um, this is one of my favorite places to shop. And um, but you should definitely be shopping for some square toed boots and some square toed shoes. Um, so yeah, that is the last of the thigh highs. We're gonna jump right into the knee highs. All right, so for knee highs on our list, I actually went to Old Faithful girl Zara. You know, she always gets me. I told you guys I'm trying not to shop as much at Zara. Even just diversifying in High Street, doing like end of the stories, doing a little bit more H&M like this top is from. Um, but Zara, she's that girl, especially for shoes. I probably have a good 10, 15 pairs of Zara boot shoes in this collection here which is over 100 pairs of shoes so she's always that girl i'm always going to have a little bit of um zara in there because like she just does it and the first one on my list are shoes that i'm coveting and when i was looking for inspiration for this video i found them and i bought them i don't have them here yet because i just ordered them <laughs> before i before i did the video but they will be in my collection soon because i've been looking for a red boot for i don't know how long um a couple years ago, I did find a Stuart Weitzman red boot that I love so much. But Stuart Weitzman's sizing is kind of weird sometimes. So that was a size 41 in my size. And I got them and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I ordered them from the store. They came and they did not fit. They were too small. So I tried to see if they had a 42. They did not have a 42. The 42s were sold out. Well, 41 and a half. They did have a 41 and a half, I think, somewhere. I think. But I just wanted to try the 41 and a half just to make sure it fit. And it was, I don't think it was anywhere close. So I ended up taking them back. But ever since then, I need, I wanted and needed a pair of 
red boots and these fit that bill even though they have like that that snake crop skin situation going on I just think these are so darling and it's a darker red than I'm, I was actually looking for I was actually looking for something more not necessarily this this bright of a red but something oh, actually look this leather something just like that I think would be really really pretty in my wardrobe um but you know these will definitely do and I'll definitely be wearing them and I love the height of the heel like I love a heel shoe most of the most of my shoes that I wear have a little bit of a heel to them I have very fat flat feet and I just feel like having a heel just makes things a little bit more comfortable um for me and these have like the perfect height of the heel and it's, I think they're just going to be really great to wear the next pair is actually also from Zara I have I have three pairs of Zara's on here so bear with me she's gonna be you know you're gonna hear her name a couple times but the second pair is actually a New York is New York -y, as always um the second pair is actually a gold pair of boots and I just feel like these are just perfect for the season for the holidays they just like popping them over pants wearing them with dresses it's just these boots are just going to be so so good and I think that they're a really great height one thing about Zara boots which I can attest to especially for my thick thought thick um, calf community is that they do really great sized calves in their boots I um usually have a very a good, a good amount of room in the calf area when I do get uh, boots from Zara and that I mean my calves are not skinny by any means like they're just not like thicker for thicker than the normal 10 so usually if I do get a boot they usually fit around my calves because my calves are pretty good in that size frame for size 10 but um but Zara, I actually have extra room in, in a lot of my boots which I love I actually love that because it allows me to um, tuck in like a little bit wider leg of a jean um, or it just gives you it just gives you a little bit of room and this in the winter time I like to wear you know tights under my jeans so it just gives you a little bit of space and um, Zara gives you that that calf room if you are interested and these gold pair amazing the shape of them is super cool because it has that little boxy shape again this little small heel does it for me every time because it gives you that little sexy little boost in your height if you're um if you're on the shorter side i don't necessarily need a boost in height i'm pretty tall myself already um but i love it all right the next on my list i think that everybody kind of needs a pair of these in their wardrobe because they're just it's just perfect especially if you live somewhere cold that snows and that is a lug sold boot um and this pair from Zara is a pretty cool like moto it, it's like a motorbike kind of boot but like still sleek because the top doesn't have like you know the motorbike boots they have like that buckle and all that stuff it doesn't have all of that but it does have that lug heel which I think is great for the snow it gives you that great protection from the snow and gives you a little bit of height. I have these that I actually need to get cleaned and um, buffed out. But I have these as my little lug-toed boot. They're a little bit more sleek, not as rugged as those ones from Zara. But these are from um, Coach. So these are Coach pair of boots that I have had for a few years now. They ha they do actually have more buckle detail and they have this pebbled leather. You know, nobody does leather like Coach. I mean, there are a few brands that do leather like Coach, but in terms of like price wise, Coach leather is amazing, and um, these have definitely served me. I've gotten them resold or over the years and everything, um, but they're just a great staple boot. They're not anything too too fancy. They do, do give you a little bit of razzle dazzle with that little bucket. But I just showed you those to say that you definitely need like one of those lug boots in your wardrobe and I like that they go up uh, instead of just being like a booty which I have those too I have a pair of those as well I like that these cover a little bit more of your leg which keep, keeps you a little bit warmer and if we do have the snow that they are predicting that we're going to have this year it's nice to have a higher boot that doesn't you know so the snow doesn't get into your pant leg or your whatever on your leg or on your leggings if you have them on so um lug boot the, um, knee high definitely add that and I would be remiss talking about knee high boots if I did not mention Paris Texas again um, they definitely don't worry New York we'll wait I hope whoever is 
and Jared is okay and they recover quickly. Um, <laughs> anywho, uh, Par I would be remiss not to mention Paris, Texas because they just have some of the most gorgeous uh, knee-high boots. They come in the stiletto heel, they come in a block heel, and they come in so many different colors and um, and uh, leather ways because they have like a croc embossed or snake skin. Like literally anything you want, they have them. These two boots I like. This one is a, a regular black sexy knee-high boot that everybody should have in their wardrobe. I actually have a pair from Zara over here. Um, they are not in season right now, so, um, but I definitely will link some other Zara options. Like, I told you, Zara is that girl with the shoes, so I'll definitely link some other options from Zara in my description. But, um, and then from Paris, Texas, they also have this brown block heeled one, and I am dreaming about this shoe. I want a brown boot so bad. I do not have any brown boots, and I realized the other day when I was wearing this outfit that was predominantly brown that I do not have any brown shoes either. I have a brown pair of, like, sandals, which are great, but not great for the winter. Um, so I definitely need to add a pair of brown boots in, in and shoes, actually. Like, a, a, a nice little Gucci Princeton in a brown color would be, I think it would be love. Um, but, yeah. Definitely add it. I need to add a brown boot to my collection. All right. The next on my list is actually these riding boots. You guys should have seen these already because they're on my wish list. I still want these girls. Um, I think I'm going to add them on my Christmas list because my Christmas wish because I just feel like they are such a timeless boot that I would wear for forever. And they would I would be bringing them out just like those coach ones every season. And those that are the totem riding boots. They are just so chic and... The calf, again, is a wider calf size that would fit with, um, you know, a different different pants and different calf people um, who have different calf sizes. Last but not least on my list are these from Kate. And, if again, these were on my wish list earlier, but they were the thigh-high version of these boots that were on my list. And... I tried them on at Bergdorf. If you did not watch that um, that vlog, you should definitely go check it out. I was um, vlogging at Bergdorf. This was a couple months ago. But um, Bergdorf and Nordstrom and I was trying on things and stuff like that. These Kate boots, thigh-high version, did not fit over my thighs. Um, which, I, honestly, I was kind of expecting. Um, the essay there also mentioned the little hacks that I mentioned to you guys. It's just cutting the leather, putting a little bit of... Um, um, what's that thing called? I want, I, why do I want to say Velcro? Put a little bit of stretch in them, whatever the, the thing is called right now. I can't think of it. Um, I'll post what I'm talking about here once I remember it. Um, but yeah, to widen the, the calf. But I'm like at 20, almost $300 for a pair of shoes. Do you really then need to take them to a cobbler to get them fixed? So, next best thing would be these Kate, um, um, knee-high boots. Now, I don't know if that that shaft is going to fit my my calf either, but um, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, yeah. It's a very beautiful boot, and I would love to have something like this in my collection. I think it's just super, super special. The, the way that the, the uh, front of the shoe kind of ends out in that pointed square toe which is, which is super beautiful and actually just su such a nod to kind of like the early 90s or those early 90s like pointed square toe shoes and then of of course that patent leather with that croc emboss is just everything so oh, still on my wish list and if you're interested you can shop them below for me and you um we'll see like I got, I, I would. That's something. In a, another thing that I would just try on before I bought, just because you just want to make sure that that calf part would fit you. Because they are. This is from someone who tried on the thigh high ones. They are a little, a little snug. Um. All right. Now we're gonna move on to my favorite pair of boots during the winter. I have the majority of them, and those are booties. And booties come in a variety of different shapes, sizes, looks, blah, blah, blah. You name it, there's a booty out there for you. Um, 
and I absolutely love having them. They're the, what I wear mostly during the week, during work. Um, one, I'm going to start out by talking about a very, um, a very affordable pair, and I say affordable, which is relative to everybody, but it's a pair that I feel like um, you should invest in or not it's not really an investment it's it's under it's under two hundred dollars most of the time and a lot of the times I get them on sale at Nordstrom Rack and that that is these I, li I look I have I, I'm in need of a new pair now um I literally get these boots every season and they are from Mark Fisher they are just the most they're basic but the still elevated pointy toed booties they have a block heel, and I'll show you a new, the newer version or and one that has a little bit higher heel that I found. Um, these are super comfortable. They're so easy to pop on. And honestly, I can actually probably take these to my cobbler to fix this toe. Like, I have, I don't know what it is. I just be tearing up the toes of my shoes. I'm really rough on shoes, to be honest with you. but that And that's why I have a cobbler, because he has to fix them a lot. Um, but the bottom of these but yeah these block heels from mark fisher are such a great pair of boots they come out with them every season um they you know jazz them up a little bit every season with different like kind of um the top in a different kind of style like you can see this one has like a little and then that um but i love these boots i will forever buy buy these mark fisher boots they're real leather and they just wear very well. Uh, I can't talk about those enough. And they come in so many different colors. I honestly should get a couple more colors other than just the black. I usually get a black pair. Like, not every season because they do last for a couple of years. But this is like my third pair of them. Um, I usually get black. But I would love to get a couple more colors because I think that they're just worth it. And they're such a great boot in that kind of way. All right. So the next one on my list are these by Kirk Geiger, and they're the Shootage Crocodile Embossed Booties. You should be seeing it here. I love what these shoes look like. I love, I don't know what it, like, okay, you saw that with the Kate shoes. I love, like, a, a glossy kind of moment, like, so much so that I have these babies. Um, these are a amazing amazing pair of boots that I have from Stuart Weitzman um I got these last year with the clear loose side heel and I love them I do love I just love me a pat patent leather boot I just think that it's so chic and it's a quick way to make something look fancy um patent leather just reads as fancy it's all it's just elevated so I love that, and these Kirk um, Geiger boots are def definitely fit the bill. And the heel is not that high, where you could probably wear these to a holiday party, walk around with them a lot, and not have terribly hurt feet at the end of the day. All right, the next one I'm gonna mention, and I actually have a pair of these, and cannot get enough of, are these Fendi First boots. But they actually have an updated cousin to them. They have a pointed toe version now, and I love it. I would get those in a different color than these, but I mean, obviously I still love these because I wear them all the time. Um, but that pointed toe version, I just love a pointed toe. I just love it, it's just so sexy. And the, I mean, the heel on these, I wanna say that these are super comfortable. For what they are, for what high, how, how high these heels, this is about a four inch heel. These are super comfortable. I can wear these for a good amount of time um, when I wear them, couple, couple, two or three, four hours at a time, walking around New York City. You can even see the bottom of these. I need to take these to my cobbler too, just to get, not to get them, because um, the heels, it's fine. This is, they're Fendi and they were quite expensive, over $3,000. Um, so this little rubber part is very hard. But just to get them um, like a little bumper, because I don't want to mess up this little metal part. I do wear them. A good amount and they've held up pretty well um but you know just gonna take precautions and keep your things for a long time i think oh girl what are you doing these shoes acting a fool um i think that uh, these fendi firsts are a really great investment because like i said i've had these for two years now really great shoe um definitely getting cost per wear for them because i definitely reach for them a lot um in fancy occasions because they're just so good they just just bring a little bit of whimsy with this fun heel 
Anywho, that is um, the Fendi first on my list. Last, but oh no, no, sorry, I lied. That's not last. I have another one. This boot is by a brand named uh, Santoni. I actually never heard of this um, this brand, but I was scouring Farfetch one day, and I stumbled upon just the most beautiful brown booties, and had to sh share them with you guys because I just think that they are so fly. The brown is not like a solid brown; it's almost kind of like a like a a vintage brown on it, and I just love what it looks like. It's so chic. I just think it's a great pair of boots and again the heel is not crazy high where you know you couldn't wear them for a good while it's probably a three and a half inch three and a half inch heel they're just too good and I, they were just too good not to um, share them with you and they're also on sale I guess because the brand is not super well known these are on sale it's a little Italian brand I did a little bit more digging they do have some really cute shoes too um, but these there you go next on my list are these fabulous boots that I can't get enough of that I wear I don't definitely had my cost per wear for and these are the Louis Vuitton um Laureate boots they come in so many uh colorways and prints and they are amazing I love these boots so much I love that they are a chic elevated designer boot but also great for the cold winter time like this is the boot that I go like when I'm going to like a fun event or going to, around the city at cute little holiday stuff. I can pop these boots on and look elevated and chic, but still be, you know, shielded from the elements. And I just love them so much. Every time somebody asks me about them, um, I can't sing their praises enough. The only only thing I don't like about these shoes is that they are hard to put on because there is no zip. So every time you take you take them on and take them off, you have to unbutton them. And I will say that these are not wide foot friendly. So if you have a wide foot, unfortunately, they are not the best for those with wider feet. You probably might be able to stretch them because this is suede and then this is but this band of leather you see this band of leather leather around them makes them very constrained and I, you know again i'm this is one of the one of one part one way that i'm kind of fortunate is that i have skinny feet so my feet tend to fit into slimmer shoes but if you have a wider foot than i do um even with, especially with socks like because you want to want to wear these with socks um it's a little difficult to get get them in get them on um but other than that even the even the laces are leather, which I love. The I just I just love these boots so much. They still smell like leather. Like I've worn them so many times, and they still smell like you know that premium leather. Um, that's you know that's my thing. I love a, a, a leather boot. Anywho, that was the last shoe on my list, and that was the last um, booty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to share some of my shoe collection with you guys and also share some of the things that are on my wish list and some of the things that you guys should shop when you're looking for boots this season. I am so excited for all of my Vlogmas videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and please do me a favor and share and also follow me on the other socials i'm doing not vlogmas on there because obviously vlogmas is only on youtube but i am posting daily on all of my um social medias um basically instagram and uh tiktok so stay tuned every day for on those two platforms for videos and pictures and all the stuff anyway i'll talk to you guys later bye